All right, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Noble Elf Show. I am so happy and so excited right now. It is not even funny. I just want to thank the powers that be for sharing this, all the stuff with me. You guys can visit us on our new website. You can join us on our online. You guys should join our email group, eh? Honest to God, we get some stuff that's so great. We share it out immediately as we get it, eh? You can email us at the Molly's gmail.com. The Molly, I'll put it in the description below. You can join our online tutor school class. We're up to 13 assignments there. You can visit us on the two channels, Noble L and Noble L the second. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Those of you in need of a private email consultation, you can email us at themullingsgmail.com. Remember, you can also write to us for the GSA bond templates to set off, set off matters. You know what came to me today? Thank you to, um, what's his first name? I know it's, I think it's, and I can't pronounce it. I'm going to mention it in a second, but he wrote to me this morning about a situation. And all morning I kept thinking about a situation um, that he wrote to me about. And then all of a sudden a light bulb went off and I was like, oh my gosh, you remember you guys, they told us it's 2 million per charge, right? That means that all these lawyers that we had that supposedly did claims for us on our behalf, that means they collected the 2 million, you guys. I remember them doing these lawsuits for 2 million and I'm thinking, how did you guys get to that particular amount? Like, how did you get up to there, right? And each one came, they frigged up, we had to get another one or whatever. That means each one of those lawyers collected, they were tapping the bonds, you guys, the Nam de Gerstraman bonds. So that means we can do the GSA bonds and the 1099 OID to get back those finances they claimed on those court claim documents that they filed on our behalf. Those of you with accidents know what I'm talking about, right? Think about it, you guys, those ticket citations that they gave to us, two million per charge, you guys. That's what they told us. We didn't get back that much. We did get back something significant from the treasury, however, that we to this day are grateful for because we really needed the finances at that time. Attention office of Donald Trump doing business as president for the United States of America. I can say that now, you guys. I'm going to show you something in a minute, okay? Um, I, co I command ordering. First of all, I'm just congratulations. I'm really happy that you're back. Congratulations on the new office. Congratulations on congratulations on the website i'm just really excited you know i already emailed him right okay so um yeah i just want to say thank you thank you thank you for all you've done for us so far and for yeah sharing this with me because you know i was upset this morning right all right so i'm happy to see you back now go after those lawyers those agents doing business lawyers in canaanite land canada that's colleen byrne joseph giuseppe falconeri david sharon associates and all the other ones that i can't remember because remember we had brain injury right all of them that filed claims on our behalf on all those tickets and citations they gave to us in one day, right? What was it? 10, 12 tickets in one day? Just because we're standing our ground day and then all those other court claims that they subjected us to, go and collect the $2 million on each, of one, each and every one of those on our behalf here and everyone else that requires it to, that cannot or is in the hospital and subjected to all kinds of crap too, do it on their behalf too. Once you collect on our behalf, collect, take out your share for your hard work and send us the rest. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to that matter. Also this morning when I made the public affidavit for all of us who are YouTubers out here who get nothing from YouTube. We haven't got nothing, you guys. You hear me out here every day putting out all this information. By the grace of Almighty God, go after them, Donald Trump. And I wanted to say it was 70000 um um, seventy thousand um, dollars in for punitive damages, seventy thousand for um, compensatory damages, seventy thousand for defamation of character, payable in lawful money and or fiat equivalent, or whatever currency is in play at that time. Take out your share for your hard work and collect on all of our behalfs, all of us that were made disabled out here and subjected to all kinds of crap by the same tech industry use the texas law that scott mckay thank you thank you thank you scott mckay that shared with us that texas passed this law that you can go after big tech now so do that on our behalf thank you thank you thank you use the duty to accommodate for those of us out here made disabled by the very same entities right and then send it to us 
do that now. Do it, do it, do it now. I command and order you to do it now. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to that matter. By Noble, Honorable Angela Eleni D. Alfred L. Rubenite Tribe Chief, American Indian, Alodi Title Morris, American National, UCC 1-308, without recourse, all rights reserved. I stand by the Book of Ruth, by my deceased organ harvested husband and myself, Jackson. No, no, no. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, you guys, look what I'm going to share now. So, this is what they just sent to us. I'm so happy to see this. You have no idea. This was the video I made this morning. I'm going to read some of the comments in a second. Um, the comment that I wanted to thank you to Kevin Van Helvestein. Helvest, Helvestein? I hope I said that right. He shared with us some information this morning that it just uh, bells went off. I, the whole morning I kept thinking about his story, and that's what came to me. It's two million, Kevin Van um, Helvestein, two million for that situation, right? Now they shared with us this link, right? I put this in the description below this morning, not realizing I just clicked on it. And then this information was shared and I was like, what? So immediately you guys read it. I can read it now. Um, Q plus Trump military starter, Easter resurrection, FF 45. I'll put the link to that in the description below. Here is what I wanted to share with you. So here's the video. Okay. I'll put that in the description below. I'm not going to play it. Here is the website. Okay. This is the about section. Someone was saying, why is this? This guy's wearing these colors. Comment below, you guys, why these colors? Pink, green, yellow, and blue. No, yellow and purple. Purple first, right? Purple is us. What? Airs. Charlie Ward and them were mentioning the Native, Native Americans today with uh, uh, Robert, um, what's his name? Robert, is it David Steele? Anyways, um, the 45th president of the United States, Donald Trump, Donald, the 45th president of the United States, you guys, Donald J. Trump launched the most extraordinary political movement in history, dethroning political dynasties, defeating the Washington establishment and becoming the first true outsider elected as president of the United States. His inspiring groundbreaking campaign proved pollsters, pundits, pro prognosticators, I can't even pronounce that word, prognosticators and the corporate media sp spectacularly wrong. He mobilized voters with massive rallies, reached America's hearts and minds within his vision for national rejuvenation, that's us, you guys, and overcame virtually every entrenched power structure, political and financial, and achieved a decisive victory, winning states no Republican president candidate had won in decades. Yay. <laughs> We didn't vote, but yeah, we're, you know, anyways, the, the forgotten men and women of America. I just wrote to him like every time you guys don't even know if he was to share with you how many times I wrote with him, you guys wouldn't, you, how many times I wrote to him, you guys wouldn't believe it. The forgotten men and women. And somebody wrote to me this morning for me to do their work for them. You guys know we share the templates that are already completed. All you have to do is put in your name where it says name John Doe. And all the other information, your numbers and that too. You know why we don't do it for you? If you were stopped, I've told you guys this several times in the past videos and that. If you were ever stopped by somebody or somebody writes to you, you'll know exactly what you did and the laws to go with it too. If we do it for you, you'll know nothing. And you'll end up back in hot water. How do we know that? How many people have we written for you guys that we got them out of the so-called churches doing businesses, jails, only to hear that they ended up back in there because they didn't understand true law. It's very important. You guys study the, study the laws we shared with you. It's very simple. Put it under your pillow, memorize it too. Back to this. The forgotten men and women of America, um, were, were forgotten no more because we finally had a president who put America first through his pro American policies on trade and Donald Trump attention office of Interpol. Donald Trump, the Army, the Navy, the military, the Marines, go now quickly. Round up these agents here who the people have reported to us. The people had some parties and stuff, you guys. They were trying to just, you know, have a life. These agents doing business as police, you know what they did? They apparently went the day of the party they were having, right? Didn't say anything to them, let them have their little party, whatever. The very next day, people were reporting that apparently 
they visited back the people them. Guess how much the tickets were that they gave to these people, you guys. Take a wild and crazy guess. $40,000 ticket. $40,000, you guys. $40,000. I don't even know how to explain that to you here. <laughs> You're lucky to see that. You understand what I'm saying? $40,000, you guys. Um, Go now and round up all those finances they collected and extorted from these people. In addition to the fact people are reporting to us that the masks that they have on, these blue masks and that, all their crap, the same agents doing business as police here have threatened them with a $10,000 fine. Go and round their asses up, any of those ones that gave out the tickets and stuff, and see to it now all the, the masks are removed. You know this morning we asked two elderly, um, two elders, women, why they were wearing, no, we didn't, we didn't ask them that. We said to them, did anybody ever share with you what's in those masks? No. I said, did you ever, did the two of you ever did any, do any research on those masks? No. I said, do any of you guys know anyone that died from the scam? No. I looked at them. I turned to them. I said, have a nice day. And I rode off. This other guy was selling a big, huge garbage bag of the blue mask. And I said to him, did you bother to research what's in those masks? You know what his response to me was? Oh, we're just selling them. We're just trying to make some money. Really? I wrote off. I didn't say another word to them. Go and remove those masks now, Donald Trump. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to that matter. By Noble Honorable Angelina D. Alfred, L. Ruben, I Tribe Chief, American Indian, Aloni Title Morris, American National, UCC 1-308, without recourse, all rights reserved. Can you imagine you put something on your face and you didn't bother to check what the hell is in it? Through his pro-American policies on trade, taxes, energy, regulation, immigration, and health care, President Trump ushered in a period of unprecedented economic growth, job creation, soaring wages, and booming in incomes. Medium household incomes reached its highest level ever recorded. Middle class family income increased more than five times from the previous administration. Unemployment reached its lowest rate in a half in half a century african american hispanic american and asian american unemployment reached their lowest levels ever recorded and more americans were employed than ever before president trump boldly unleashed american energy and our nation soon became the world's number one producer of oil and national and is it natural gas national gas in the world i don't know if it's national and natural. Okay, America's newfound energy independence not only meant historically low energy prices, but also bolstered our economic and national security. At the center of this pro-American energy vision was a prioritizing was, wait, 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 wait. I must have skipped something. Was a oh, robust commitment to environmental converse conser conservation um, renewable energy production prioritizing the clean up of major pollution sites and investing billions in clean water infrastructure under president trump america led the world in reducing carbon emissions as a steward of natural resources president trump signed the great outdoors act the most significant investment in our national parks since Theodore Roosevelt's presidency and join the on the one trillion trees initiative to protect the, and restore one trillion trees by 2030. I think it's Robert. I want to say David. Is it Daniel Steele? Um, was saying that on top of Ro more, Mount Rushmore, there's a Native American. Is that true, you guys? Comment below. As president, he was an unwavering, or maybe he was just saying it as an allegory. As president, he was unwavering champion for our nation's heroes in uniform. He always stood proudly with our nation's extraordinary and courageous police officers, sheriffs, and law enforcement professionals. He fought relentlessly for our nation's military service members and invested trillions of dollars in the American armed forces to ensure Yes, and they just sent me this Canadian Rebel News video. I'm going to post that in the description below. In um, Canaanite land, Canada, British Columbia, also known as Morocco, Maghreb, the North Gate, Indian country, Timbuktu. These agents over there have, try, have tried to do another lockdown for, what is it, six weeks on the restaurants and stuff. 
and one restaurant owner said, enough. And she opened up by the grace of Almighty God and all the business owners supported her. International authorities go now quickly and see to it she's protected. And whatever agent you see over there makes the mistake and tries to ticket her in any kind of way or subject her to any undue hardship, go and charge them up for high treason and genocide this night. And all the other ones that have done all the corruption right and see to it now that Canaanite land Canada is free and everywhere else on the global on the global scale, internationally. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to that matter. By Noble Honorable Ange Elena D. Alpha L. Rubenite Tribe Chief American Indian. Aloni Title Morris American National UCC 1-308 without recourse, all rights reserved. Thank you to Rebel News for sharing that one with us. Um, what else? Now, um, where did I read? Did I read this part already? Um, he fundamentally reformed the Department of, of Veteran Affairs ending, did I read the other part? Nation's military service members and invested trillions of dollars in the American armed forces to ensure our warriors had tools to support, had the tools, support, and resources they needed, they need. He fundamentally reformed the Department of Veterans Affairs, ending the part, the past era of scandal and ensuring our nation's treasured veterans were given the treatment and care they have earned and deserved. Oh, and deserve understanding that border security is national security. President Trump achieved the most secure border in the United States history and signed a series of historic agreements with our partners in the Western Hemisphere to stop smuggling, traffic, trafficking, and illegal migration. He fundamentally reformed the H-1B program to protect American workers and families. He restored the principle that newcomers to our country must be financially self-sufficient. He restored the principle that newcomers, oh, okay, he empowered immigration and customs enforcement to dismantle criminal gangs and deport dangerous offenders who threaten our communities. He ended systemic asylum fraud, reduced refugee admissions to sustainable levels, blocked the entry of terrorists and national security threats and banned unsafe travel from regions where proper screening and vetting cannot occur. No president has done more to build an immigration system that promotes safety, dignity, security, and prosperity for the American people by restoring America's prestige and advi advancing a policy of principled realism. He forged historic peace agreements in the Middle East, withdrew troops from endless conflicts, confronted oppressive communist and socialist regimes, advanced stability around the world, and strengthened the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and other international alliances and partnerships by getting other nations to contribute to their fair share, contribute their fair share. When the, uh, yeah, the scam broke out, arrived, when the scam arrived from, <laughs> doesn't say scammy, guys, arrived from China, um, afflicting every nation around the globe, President Trump acted early and decisively to ban travel from China and Europe, which saved countless lives. He launched the greatest national industrial mobilization since World War II, um, refilling our depleted stockpiles of medical supplies, bringing our critical supply chains back home, pioneering life-saving medical treatments in the record, in record time, leveraging the defense production act, mass producing and mass distribution masks, gowns, gloves, and other protective equipment and getting a new, it's enough now. You can take those off the, the, the market new breakthrough therapies into the hands of hospitals, doctors, and patients. President Trump from scratch built the most robust testing system in the world and at his discretion, temporary hospitals and new medical beds were built from scratch to keep hospitals from overcrowding. Aggressive action was taken to get critical supplies to nursing homes in order to protect the most vulnerable among us through operation i don't even want to read that speed crap because i'm not reading none of that and then whether it was combating the i'm not reading any of that either you guys can go and read that part anyways president trump knows that as long as we 
remain faithful to our um, citizens, our country, and our God, then America's best days are yet to come. And there's Melania Trump, right? And then Melania Trump writes, Melania Trump is married to, and it goes on. Uh, yeah, you guys can read all of that. And now she raised some funds for the Heart Association. All right, so I just want to show you some of the pictures on the homepage. And I'm going to put this in the description below. You guys can go and say hi to him. <laughs> oh, boy. There's the contact page, right? This is the new... Um, yeah, and they sent a picture. I'll put that in the description below of his new office in Mar-a-Lago. So I'll send, I'll put that one in the description below too, right? And um, yeah, there it is, you guys. He's back. Thank you, God. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, now all we just need is the cleanup of this crap and people to get back to some semblance of a life. All right, now, um, yeah, so you guys just remember, it's, you guys can write to us for the GSA bond tips to set off child support cases. And yeah, we do have to ask for donations for our time and our research. A number of reasons, but yeah, we, we have to ask for donations here. Um, so to set off matters, thank you to Ray. Um, yeah, and for those of you who remain in honor with us here, we just want to say thank you, those of you who have been supporting us. We we'll really greatly appreciate you. And um, yeah, to set off things like mortgages, foreclosures, ticket citations, auto loans, student loans, warrants, and those of you who had accidents where you're blamed for stuff, do the GSA bonds to set off the matter first, then do the 1099 OID to get back whatever it is they claim on that court claim to collect damages, whether it's the other party or whatever, and your name is on it, there's a court claim number, do the um, GSA bonds on that, and then do the 1099 OID to get back. If it's two million per charge, put that down and see what happens. Once you guys get yourself, remember us here, eh? <laughs> and um, yeah, so thank you, thank you, thank you to each and every one of you for sharing. And you can write to us. Remember, faith without works is dead. So I did that affidavit this morning by faith because I was just getting frustrated, you guys. I don't like crap. It's not a part of my makeup. I can't handle it, so I stay out of it. All right, you guys, like, share, subscribe. Have yourself a great day. Remember, faith without works is dead. Do unto others, you others do unto you. It is the law of Matthew 7, 12. Peace to the gods, peace to the gods. Who are the gods? You are, Psalms 82, 6. And let your light so shine before men so they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which art in heaven. I heard a joke this morning that made me laugh. We were talking to the same homeless guy that we talk to like every day, right? Oh boy. And I said to him, you have sense, eh? And he said to me, I said, where do you live? Guess what he said to you guys? He said he lives right beside the, the five, the five cents and the 10 cents or the $5 and the 10 cents. I was like, where do you live? He's talking about the post office, right? He sleeps outside the post office, right? And I guess there must be a $5 and a $10 on the ground somewhere up there. So he said, he just wanted to make me laugh. I was just, we were cracking up. And then I said to him, do they give you clothes to wear? And he said, well, if you want to give me um, a shirt and a pair of pants, I'll gladly take it. I'm like, really? You're so slick, eh? Anyways, just, you know, when he said he lived right next next to the $5 and the $10, I was like, really? 5 and $10 here, you guys, is only like, what, 5 and $0.10? Cents. Don't get excited. But yeah, that's what he told me. So I thought that was funny. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Have yourself a great day. And yes, I had to give him some notes this morning too. Eh? <laughs> All right, have yourself a great day. Remember Donald Trump, send us something here, eh? You guys remember to support us here in the meantime, in between time, by the grace of Almighty God, and thank you.